In this video, I'm gonna take you through the steps that I do to build a squirrel picnic table. Also, in the description, there will be chapters. So if you wanna review a certain step, just go down in the description and look for that step down there. And as a bonus, at the end of this video, which will be a chapter two in the description, I'll give you an alternative suggestion on what else you can use the squirrel picnic table four. And with that, I'm gonna rummage through my scrap pile and we'll be right back with the rest of the video. Welcome to Simple Shop Creations with your host, Kurt Poswell. And now, on to the video. All right, so this is what I found in my scrap heap. It's just a piece of construction lumber that was approximately, as it was approximately a 12 by eight um, piece of wood. And we're gonna cut this baby up and Build the, build the picnic table or the squirrel table with this. Now, one thing I want to point out here, you can see this is all uh, cupped or twisted. We don't really care because it's going to be a squirrel picnic table. So it doesn't matter. We're just going to use the board as is. All right, in step one, let's go through the dimensions of the first step. And the first step is going to be building or cutting the two uh, seat slats and then the three tabletop slaps, slats. So let's go through the dimensions. The dimensions are as follows. Each one of these boards here are two inches by eight inches long, and the two bench seats are approximately half inch thick, and the tabletop is approximately three quarter of an inch thick. So again, the dimensions for the tabletop are two by eight, three quarters of an inch thick. The seat slats are two by eight, half inch thick. Now here, I'm just ripping uh, the construction lumber here. I'm gonna do it twice, and then I'm gonna cross cut to eight inches, and then you'll see that I will be resawing uh, the cross cuts uh, that will give you your total of eight pieces. You'll have four tabletop pieces and four bench seat pieces. still resawing. Right, in this uh, section of the video here, I'm, I'm just displaying what we just finished cutting. And as you probably uh, can see that my voice is not aligning with the visual cues on the video because the wireless mic ran out of power at the time of me explaining that. But coming up here in a section is a cutoff piece that will be used for the tabletop supports, and that's a eight by two by three quarter inch piece. So in step two here, we're gonna need to cut the table supports, which are found right there. You have two of them, one here in the bottom, and then you get another one up here. The dimensions of the Table supports are three quarter inches by three quarters of an inch by five inches long. So remember that uh, extra scrap piece that uh, came off for the tabletop? We're gonna use that to make these two pieces. So there we have them, the two Table support pieces are now cut, and this is a general idea of where they're going to go. So now let's move on to step three, the table legs. All right, in step three here, we're going to go ahead and build the table legs. You need four table legs, and the dimensions are as follows prior to cutting the angles. So six inches will be the length, inch and a half will be the width, and the thickness of the table legs is three quarters of an inch. Now, once you get that all cut, you want to set your angle to 22 and a half degrees. So these are 22 and a half degrees angle. Once you set the, your angles, the, the actual dimensions will come out to be approximately between five inches to five and one eighth inches in length. So with that, let's move on to the cutting scenes.
basically the measurement from the tip here to here, we're gonna cut to this line here is approximately five and an eighth inches. Well, there you have them, tabletop legs, approximately five and an eighth inches um, total height with a 22 and a half inch uh, to 22 and a half degree miter uh, top and bottom. In step four, we're gonna cut the bench seat supports, which are 12 inches long, one inch wide, and three quarters of an inch thick. So let's go cut them. So seen before you are all the parts that are cut. Let's go through what parts that we cut. So first set here, we have three tabletop slats. We have the two uh, bench supports. We have the four legs, and then we have the two tabletop supports. And then finally, we have the two bench top seats. So the next step here is, do I route, do I sand, or do I leave it alone? Uh, at the very least, I probably would want to sand all these edges down. Uh, you can see here, this is uh, a little rough there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sand. I don't know if I'm going to route. But... So, I decided to uh, give a whack with my uh, trim router here. I have a quarter inch uh, ran over a bit with a quarter inch shaft. So, let's see how it works. Not bad. Let's do the rest of the parts. All right, so this is gonna be the first step in assembling the squirrel table. So the first step here is on we wanna assemble the tabletop. And you can see here, we're gonna need the three, the three uh, mini table planks, and then we're gonna need these two um, uh, tabletop supports. And as you can see from here, this side here, one side is going to be offset a little bit to give you a little overhang. And the other side, which I'm going to call here the back side, is flush because this is the side that gets mounted to the trunk or, or to a piece of board or whatever how you want to mount uh, the squirrel table. Or you can just let it sit on the ground. Either way, it doesn't matter. So let's go on to assembling the tabletop. Right here. So here we have our parts for the Tabletop, we have our two table supports and our three mini tabletop planks. Uh, I have some Type Bond uh, glue here. This is Type Bond 3 for outside. And then I'm going to use one inch brad nails to um, tack these into the table bottom. Now these are, the, I have these oriented to, this is underneath. So make sure you orient your slacks, um, your planks or slats for the underneath and put the the top, the exposed top, down. Now, before going on, I would su highly suggest that you find the middle of your two tabletop supports, since these are approximately five inches, gonna be approximately two and a half inches, and then take the middle slat that you want to use as your middle slat and find the middle and mark both ends approximately an inch and a half to two inches down on either side, or just draw a straight line. Now in the beginning video, you notice that I had some legs offset and another set of legs flush. So how we're gonna measure that? We don't need to measure anything uh, for that. So we're just gonna go ahead, combine the three. We're just gonna go ahead and combine the three tabletop slats. And then we're going to put our two supports here because they're three quarters of an inch. Uh, wide and then we're going to take a handy dandy pencil and we're just going to go ahead and uh, mark the back here and now we know that this table support goes on 
the other side of the line and then you can have a nice offset of your um, of your legs on one side now the other side here is we want it flush and the best way to do this flush is to actually get a leg support let's do it this way let's turn this around all right we don't care about the center too much put it up flush against this make sure it's all as flush as possible Again, this is a squirrel table, so we don't worry about too, too much of accuracy. And then we just draw a line on the back there. And then this goes here. And then these will sit right there. And then it should be relatively flush with the end of that. So let's go to actually assembling this table. All right. So the first side here is I'm going to assemble this by putting... This piece here, I'm gonna line up to my center line that I have here, and I'm gonna line up to the center line here. And then we're just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna put some glue on the side, and then it's gonna tack it down. So let's go for that. Uh, just move it around a little bit. We don't care about the uh, the glue spill out here, just make sure this is relatively centered on your piece of uh, center line there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and nail it. I'm using, again, I'm using one inch brad nails and then I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot. Oh, I'm not gonna shoot anything. So we have three nails here. So I'm gonna put in a couple more just for its and giggles because we can. All right, so that's the flush side. It's gonna be the flush side, all right? That's fine. And then let's turn it around. Let's do the same thing, but remember, you drew your line here, it just goes on the other side of the line closer to this support here. And then we just line that up and do the same thing again. There you have it. Your tabletop is now complete. The next step is now we're gonna put the legs on and we'll go, th we'll go through that in the next step. So here we have our four legs. And now we're going to put them, attach them to the table. Again, we're going to use um, uh, inch nails and um, type on three here, glue. Again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put glue and glue, glue the bottom and glue the side facing here, and then nail some. I'm only going to put nails this way here. I'm not going to put nails from the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we don't care about the the glue mess, it's a squirrel table. You guys can clean it all up after if you want to. Move it around a little bit, it gets a little stiffer. And now let's grab our brad nailer and hopefully we won't shoot our finger through. All right, there we have it. And you can do about three here. There you go. And just do the same to the other side and your table will be done. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the bench supports. Again, I'm not really gonna do measurements here, uh, but I will uh, suggest that you, uh, you're gonna make multiple of these um, Make yourself a jig, because uh, we're going to work upside down again on here, All right? So the distance between between the between the I guess the top of this to the bottom of the leg support is approximately one and seven eighths inches wide. Uh, so I just built a jig, put a center line on it because I'm going to match the center line up to that. Make sure you put a center line on your um, bench support and you can line everything up uh, nice and easy. So let's go on to assembling the bench supports. All right, so here I have uh, 
picnic table, the squirrel picnic table. I have my uh, uh, jig, and uh, the jig does have a center line here. Um, also, remember, we have already have the center line on our, our tabletop support. And then here are my bench uh, supports, and they have a center line on it too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to put this there. And we're going to line up the, the lines. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take this and then try to line those up too. Now I'm just going to use a little pencil here because we're going to put some glue. Um, I just want to see. So we're going to put some glue here. So let's go ahead and put some glue. Just going to put a little bit of glue. So I'm going to turn this upside down here. And we're going to put some glue here. And some glue there. Make sure everything is lined up as best we can. Take our center support. Mush it around a little bit. Line it up. Make sure it looks like it's all lined up. And let's tack the humper in. Moved a little bit. Moved. All right. And then we can remove it. There you have it. We can put in a, maybe put in one more. Ugh. There you have it. One side done. Flip it over. Now, since we have uh, this here, I'm going to go get some uh, support, put some support underneath there. I'll be right back. All right, so I bet you just took the a bench seat support. And now we're going to do the same thing here. Hey, so there you have it, the two supports. So in the final step here, let's just go ahead and put our seats on. I'm gonna start um, from this side here because we know this is pretty much flush, which will then automatically flush this side over here. So I'm just gonna grab myself some glue. Put a little dab. Oh, open it up first, there we go. Ugh. A little more dab here. So basically, the seat will be flush with this point, and then I'll make it uh, flush with this here. So we get our seat. So basically, two nails. Should be sufficient but you can put more if you want to so i'm gonna put three in just for it's and giggles and then let's do the same to the other side and you'll be done so there you have it your picture table complete now you can sit here you can sand it do whatever you want fill in the holes or just Hang it in the tree as is, or put it on the ground. Now, if you want to uh, keep the feed, uh, whatever feed you're using, uh, on the table uh, longer, instead of leaving the sides open here, see everything is, there's the, the feed will just uh, blow off or, or be scurried off by birds and, and then the squirrels. Um, you can take the scrap piece that are left over uh, and then you can build a, a perimeter. So basically, all I did was I took the scrap piece um, and this is approximately three eighths inches wide here, and it's the same, and it's the same thickness as the the leftover scrap piece. And then you just go around, you know, and just trim it down to whatever you wanted to trim it down to. So with that, have yourself a healthy and wonderful day.